Hey there, Chargers. It's November 29th, the 334th day of 2016. On today's show, we'll be talking about some visits happening on campus this week, deadlines, volunteering opportunities, and our marching band. It's actor Anna Faris's birthday. It's National Electronic Grading Day. It's DP News. And it starts now. now. You will be able to meet with the program advisor from the Scholarship Foundation of Santa Barbara today from 9 a.m. to 12.22 in the Career Center. It is recommended that you make an appointment with Ms. Polito in the counseling office, but they do accept walk-ins. Santa Barbara Cal Soap will be on campus tomorrow from 11 to 3 in the Career Center. They provide high school students with guidance for transitioning to a college or university, and they offer services such as tutoring, SAT preparation courses, field trips, and financial aid assistance and application assistance. If you would like to attend, please sign up with Ms. Polito in the counseling office. Walk-ins are welcome. One last reminder that the 2016-2017 Partners in Education Training and Internship Program's winter session deadline is Thursday at 5 p.m. The goal of the program is to provide students who have demonstrated determination despite financial, educational, or other challenges with the opportunities to explore future career options and gain work experience. If you would like to pick up an application or find out more information, step by the Career Center. Santa Barbara City College Outreach is going to be in the Career Center on Friday from 9 to 12. The SBCC Outreach Team of Enrollment Services, Career Technical Education Programs, Dual Enrollment, and Academic Counseling are here to help you with answering general questions, the Dual Enrollment Application Process, finding your K number, their class schedule, assessment test questions, and more. The sign-up sheet is available in the Counseling Office with Ms. Polito, and walk-ins are welcome. The marching band will be performing their award-winning show, Behind the Walls, tomorrow at 6.30 in the stadium. The DP marching band has had a very successful season. They got the highest scores the DP band has ever gotten and placed ninth out of 24 bands this past season. They would love for you to come to this free event to enjoy their show one last time. If you need community service, the Santa Barbara Zoo is looking for volunteers to work at the Snow Leopard Festival on December 4th. While volunteering, you can help with snow sledding and educational activities while also raising awareness for the endangered snow leopard. The only orientation is taking place today from 5 to 6, so make sure to register ASAP. The link to register can be found on dpnews.org. That's all we have for you today until Friday, Chargers. Now we're to Caleb with the Sports Report. Good morning, Dos Pobos. Boys soccer played a very exciting match against Oxnard yesterday, coming away with a draw. Junior Oscar Ferreira provided multiple scoring opportunities for the offense, but the young attacking core was unable to finish any of the chances. Dos Pobos relied heavily on Calvin Chipper. The senior played outstanding defense, helping the Chargers' back line keep a clean sheet in the season opener. Girls basketball begins their season today against the San Marcos Royals. Chris Noggle's younger sister Lauren will be on the court, so expect good things from her 32. The girls soccer team will play host to Nordoff High this Wednesday to open their season. Boys basketball is back in action this Tuesday at San Luis Obispo and this Wednesday at Rigetti. Do you have the internal drive to be the best? If so, swing over to room Q2 at lunch today. There will be an informational meeting for anyone interested in trying out for playing for the boys golf team this year. That's this Thursday at lunch in room Q2. That's it for me Chargers. Now over to Piers with Pop Culture. DP. Today is singer Laura Morano's uh, reality star Howie Mandel and author C.S. Lewis's birthday. This past week we suffered the loss of actor Ron Glass and Cuban revolutionary Fidel Castro. The top three songs of the week are Black Beatles by Ray Stremmerd featuring Gucci Mane, Closer by the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey, and Starboy um, by The Weeknd featuring Daft Punk. Presidential-elect Donald Trump is not happy with the cast of the musical Hamilton at the moment for booing Mike Pence. After, becoming, after being denied the presidency, presidency, Hillary Clinton tries to call for a recount. Olympic gymnast Lori Hernandez uh, won the Mirror Ball Trophy and a million dollars by winning Dancing with the Stars. Jackie Chan finally got an Oscar after 50 years. And lastly, Oxford Dictionary's word of the year is post-truth, meaning relating to or denoting circumstances in which objective facts are less influential in shaping public opinions than appeal or, to emotion and per personal belief. That's all for this week. Now into Sky and Lindsay with your weather and surf report.
ADP, what's up? The Sky, because I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report and joke of the day. Hey Sky, did you hear about the cat that swallowed a bar ball of yarn? No, what happened to the cat that swallowed a bar ball of yarn? It had a litter of mittens. Ha! Ah. Good one, Lindsay. Tomorrow and Thursday's forecast will have a high of 66 degrees with 54% humidity and 9 mile per hour winds. As for Friday, temperatures will be ranging in the lower 60s with 59% humidity and 12 mile per hour winds. The surf after school today will have low tides, breaking about knee high with a slight northwest swell and 4 knot winds. Wednesday and Thursday will both have around 6 knot winds blowing in between northwest and west regions, with waves breaking at 2 to 3 feet. These forecasts are perfect to do almost anything at the beach. Make sure to shred the gnar, my friends. That's all we have for you today, DP. Have a cheerful day.